Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about the very best dry shampoos from the drugstore. I bought as many as I could. Dry shampoo and me were like this, okay? I don't wanna lose the color in my hair because yes, obviously I color my hair. So I am careful to not overwash my hair for that reason, but also I feel like styling your hair really damages it and shampoo strips a lot of the oil from your scalp and it's just a better idea altogether, in my opinion, to not wash your hair every day. We have some absolute winners that I'm so excited about and some that I just think smell really awful and feel weird and will make your hair look even crazier than it did to begin with. We're gonna talk about those as well. So what inspired this video is this guy right here. I feel like I got everything I'm about to share with you on the table for the same price as this one can of dry shampoo from Orbe. This is the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I tested this on camera on dirty hair on Wednesday. I posted the video, but I had pre-filmed that. So I immediately, after not liking this, went out and started trying affordable dry shampoo and made it my mission to find great dry shampoo that would not leave residue, that would give me volume, that would not weigh my hair down, that would not give me a white cast. And I'm excited to share that I have an option under $10. We're gonna like go through the whole thing. I have a little table in front of me with a variety of dry shampoos. And we're gonna start off with the one that disappointed me the most. This is from Umberto Beverly Hills. <laughs> It's, um, I don't know what it's doing at Target. It's really funny because Umberto's used to be this very like she, 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 like Rodeo Drive salon in Beverly Hills. And it is interesting that they have a range of products at Target. I have tried some of their shampoos and whatnot before, and it's not a bad line. This, however, no, no, no. This is so chalky, I cannot even. I don't think even a blonde woman would enjoy this. My mom is super blonde um, and she can use any dry shampoo. She can just like dump on the dry shampoo and it's all good. For me, if there's any kind of a powdery residue, you're gonna see it. So you can see that just gave me like this crazy white cast. Now, if I were to really go nuts and spray this everywhere. Ugh, this is not the look I'm going for. So this is not good for anyone that has anything but super blonde hair. Also, I feel like the powderiness and the texture of it actually falls down on your shirt. Now that can happen with any of these, which is why I recommend dry shampooing your hair butt naked, just saying. But on camera, I'm wearing a shirt. I made the mistake of in the WTF wearing a black turtleneck. What was I thinking? I mean, it looks like I have like straight dandruff all over my shirt, but really it's just the dry shampoo. So this one is just a mess. It says it cleanses, refreshes, adds volume without water, but it also adds way too much powdery product and it just, I don't like it. So all of these have different things that absorb oil. This one has rice starch. So I'm not, I'm not down with the rice starch. This will surprise you because usually herbal essences, the scent gets me. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, take me back to high school. Like, I just, I love the scent of herbal essences products. It has mint and tapioca, and this is going to have no color in it whatsoever, which it doesn't, but it is very wet. And the alcohol smell in here is like, ugh. Like, you will put this in your hair. And it's like you've been doing shots, like someone would not smell your hair and be like, oh wow, floral, great. They'd be like, have you been to the bar this morning? This says it has the essence of citrus and mint. I think it has the essence of vodka. That might just be me, but I do not like how this smells. Sticks. I feel like dry shampoo, you have to get on board with the scent because you are using so much of it that your hair actually will carry that fragrance. At least that's been my experience. So this one, I feel like I just can't even use. This is from Hair Food by Clairol. This is a sulfate-free dry shampoo. It is infused with kiwi fragrance. This is silicone-free, mineral oil-free, paraben-free. So this is more on the natural side of things. If you're into that, you might wanna give this product range a whirl. I, I have things that I like and things that I don't about this one. This does not pack as much of a punch as I with my oily hair that I need on my days off from washing. So this just is not enough. 
this one has more of a shine kind of a feel like I feel like it's not it has some kind of oil or something in here with the tapioca starch that might work for you if you have hair that's more on the dry side and you want to use dry shampoo but for me my roots get greasy they get greasy and crazy and this just did not take care of the oil as much as I needed it to and that's why this is not my favorite but it's not horrible the kiwi scent is pretty attractive and it's you know, it's kind of on the in-between list, you know? Dove has definitely revamped their dry shampoo. When I did something called the Hot Mess Makeover, which I don't even know if I should link that video below because it's kind of embarrassing. Actually, it was like a real life situation what happened. I wanted to film a video and the water went out in my building and I hadn't washed my hair in like two days. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I need to not disappoint my audience and I wanna post a video. So I decided to do this thing called a hot mess makeover. And I was like, this is how you get ready if you don't have running water. I don't know why I thought that was like a good idea, but I did that video a lot of you guys at the time really enjoyed it but what I did that was not the greatest is I doused my hair in Dove dry shampoo and it did a great job getting rid of the oil but the white cast was so intense um, so Dove used to have way more powder in their products I am happy to report that they don't have as much powder anymore this one right here is the detox and purify dry shampoo and these do have a heavy fragrance. I am gonna put that out there. It's not an alcohol fragrance. It's very much like air freshener. Ooh, did someone vacuum in here? Or are you a Glade plug-in? Like it's kind of like that type of a scent. It's just a weird scent. This one says it contains aluminum starch. I don't know why that sounds kind of scary, but you know what? It really works. This is one of the better dry shampoos at the drugstore. It will really absorb the oil at your roots. It will give you volume. It will refresh your hair. It will leave a strong scent. It's not like an alcohol scent, but it is that very potent Dove fragrance. So make sure that you're okay with that before dumping half the bottle in your hair because it will linger. I prefer the volume and fullness dry shampoo version. I don't know ingredient wise what is the big difference because it basically says the same thing on here. There was something, I don't know if it's just my brain that I'm like, the bottle's purple. Look, it has the word volume um, that made me go, yes, this is the winner for me. But I do really like this a lot. I definitely will repurchase it. It's around five bucks. I think this is a winner just like kind of volumize my hair right now that's actually like a really good trick if you're someone that doesn't want to buy a mousse a dry shampoo a texturizer you know but you want volume in your hair just buy a dry shampoo and it will save you every single time you can do the whole this biz I mean right like right this is pretty bomb definitely gets rid of the oil i really like it i wish it wasn't so fragrant but i can get past that because it's kind of pretty i can get past that this gem right here is so good now this one is a little bit more expensive for drugstore they have this at my cvs they also do carry this one at target this is nexus and this is the volume dry shampoo refreshing mist with pearl extract this is $11.99 this one has aluminum starch as an ingredient it also has soybean oil it has wheat which this is just like what everything that I'm allergic to, but I'm gonna spray it on my hair, so it's fine. Um, this one smells really yummy, and it is not as intense of a sprayer as the Dove. I mean, it definitely packs a punch, but it's not like where the Dove is just like, bam, like, do we see this? Let's battle it out. Oh, Dove, Nexus. This one's a little, a little more, right? I love you guys. I do this for you. The Nexus one smells like freaking delicious heaven. It has such a wonderful powdery texture grit feel to it with zero wetness right away. It just very much absorbs the oil on the scalp, gives you so much volume. I love the texture of it. Again, that's my favorite part. Um, but it doesn't leave a white cast, and that's why I love it the most. So that is my number two favorite. The reason it's not number one is because 
It's $11.99 and I wanted to find you guys something that was like so incredible, that was not super expensive. Um, $11.99 is much better than $44, but it's still a little bit up there in price. This is the winner, guys. I freaking love this so much. It's around five bucks. This is a dry shampoo from Pantene. And I grew up with Pantene commercials, just like that was the shampoo that I'd be like, mom, 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 I need it. You know, like you bug your mom, you're like, I want hair like hers. I'm 12, but it's fine. Like, you know, I want Pantene. So I remember using Pantene and the scent just really gets me. It has carried that same kind of signature type of a vibe throughout the years that I really like. So this one smells fabulous. This one is a tapioca starch. It's not an aluminum starch. This one is pretty awesome because it does not give you that weight and that heaviness and that powderiness. As you can see, it's not, it has no white cast in here whatsoever, but it absolutely 100% gets rid of the oil at the roots. I freaking love the Pantene dry shampoo. I would have never tried it out had I not done this particular video. So I'm really happy that I found a dry shampoo that's around five bucks that I'm really on board with because I just saved myself a ton of money. So I hope that this inspires you guys to try out more affordable options as far as dry shampoo goes at the drugstore. And if you have specific needs and reasons with your dry shampoo, maybe this breaks it down for you. I feel like this is the most affordable and versatile, smells the greatest, is not heavy. You can back comb with it. It has a little bit of hold, but it doesn't make your hair fall. It's just through and through a really nice, solid dry shampoo. Um, side note, and this is not sponsored at all whatsoever, but Pantene makes an alcohol-free hairspray that's really awesome as well that I have been into also. So there we have it, a rundown of fabulous dry shampoos and ones that maybe don't even spend your time on. Holy crap, I can't even breathe in here with all of the dry shampoo in the air, so I am going to... Thank you, Buka. I will be listing all of these products in the description box below so you know exactly what's going on. I will also have a link for Style Code Live if you missed yesterday's episode. It was a good one and I shared a hot product of the week that you definitely want to know about. So be sure to check that out. And what else can I say? Have a fabulous weekend, you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.